Hi guys, welcome back to another video here, another campaign forge creation playthrough that we're going to be playing. Uh, this one is called Rough Landing. Uh, obviously there will be a link down in the description for this map. Uh, I don't know anything about it other than what you're seeing right here. Uh, and it is a cool picture, but <laughs> the uh, synopsis is stop the covenant from gaining a foothold and opening up another front on the ring. So. We're, up, we're playing on a ring and uh, we're going to try and stop the Covenant basically pretty, pretty straightforward but uh, as always is a quick shout out to the two creators Paul Mythopicus and Chief Keith 5789 uh, we're going to jump straight up one one other thing to note uh, it didn't actually say uh, what kind of mode to play this with so I'm just playing it with another campaign based mode and I'm hoping it works fine uh, but let's jump into the gameplay and see what this map is all about. Okay, here we go guys. Starting, starting in a drop pod here, which is pretty cool. Uh, seeing the whole ring there. Ignore the text that came on the screen. This is called... Uh, what was it called actually? Rough Landing or <laughs> whatever it was called I just said. Um, Alright, first impressions is this is super cool. Uh, obviously there are a couple of other drop pods there. You can play this with up to four players I believe it says. And um, let's just jump straight through and, and figure out what's going on in this map. Uh, again, as always, if you enjoy these uh, videos uh, and this awful uh, gunfighting there. Oh, there's quite a lot in here. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down in the comments and uh, hit, hit this with a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Um, I always like seeing the odd comments that come on. Um, quite a lot of guys out there. I'll probably slow down a little bit. So, uh, if you are not familiar with my videos, struggling to kill these guys, but I I don't show you every single gunfight the whole way through. But I do give you a feel for the map and uh, walk you through the whole map, providing we we do finish it. Some of these maps don't. Don't work out quite that well. Uh, this one is looking like a good one. I've not seen anything like this before. And I've played uh, maybe a dozen of these campaign forge creations. And this is a very unique scenario. Looks like they're fighting somebody else in there. So let's move on forward. There's a lot of red markers on our radar. For some reason they're fighting each other. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I have a feeling it's not. Right, just a grunt left off of that. Two grunts. Okay. So, that was a bit funny. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if they were supposed to be fighting each other. We'll keep marching forward and seeing seeing if that's, um, if that was the right thing to do. It did look like you had some blue um, elites and some red ones kind of fighting each other. So, maybe that was supposed to happen. Whoa, we got drop pods almost landed right on top of us. And these are with some pretty hardcore hunters. Chasing me down. I should have probably just left them because it looked like they were about to fight the other elites there. Can clamber away. Wow, okay, so we died and we've respawned back up where our drop pods were. <laughs> okay, that's pretty weird. So these are also the harder variant of the of the hunters. There's one down though. I don't really like the hydro in any other circumstance, but, but they seem to do seem to do a lot of damage to AI. And there's the other one down. So I think there was three, but maybe the elites took out one one of them. Oh, more hunters have dropped in. Uh oh. I don't know where that hunter went. Oh, he's right here. Uh, 
that took him out. Oh, he's got a sword. I'm loving the layout of this map. I'm hoping that the AI is working as it's intended. And you've got the two sort of tribes of, of uh, Banished or Covenant fighting each other is, is correct. Oh, got one here, in invisible. Where is he? I'm sure he's there somewhere. It definitely is there. There. No, he's here. <laughs> so it's a bit annoying that I'm hitting him and it's not making him visible. Another weapon dropped down there as we're on the bridge. I don't know if it's probably a rocket launcher. This guy's going mental. See if we can take this guy down. Oh my god, I completely missed him. Oh no! Alright, at least this time <clears throat> we respawn near the bridge. Uh, he is charging us though. Love this uh, scenery, this rocky... Uh oh This rocky scenery is pretty good to cover and to, to get around. Unfortunately, all the guns despawn as you die. I think that's just a limitation to forge. All right, he's down. I don't know if I actually really needed to kill him, to be honest with you. Because I think we activate this lift to go down. Oh, and that's the whole, <laughs> that is the whole map. All right. I think that is correct. And it's how it's supposed to play out. So a bit of a shorter map there, but um, maybe that's their first proper creation in Forge. I really enjoyed it. It was quite difficult with all the hunters, but also quite fair because there wasn't loads of other enemies. And the actual map layout was amazing. So a bit shorter than the other ones we've done, but um, really effective in being a really good map and a lot of fun to play through. I know it takes hours and hours to get that sort of stuff set up, especially in the map design and then the scripting for the AI and your respawns and the whole drop pod scenario would have taken hours to create. So really a uh, big shout out to the team there and really enjoyed that now hopefully you enjoyed this video again please hit subscribe and leave us a comment down below